Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me for yet another episode of my Manchester United career on FIFA 17. And in today's episode, we're going to be getting things underway with the new Premier League season against newly promoted Newcastle United. That's going to be played at Old Trafford. If you happen to miss the previous episode, I've made three signings already in this summer transfer window, being Kingsley Coman from Juventus, Kevin Gamero from Atletico Madrid, and Virgil van Dijk from Southampton. Oh, here we go then. It is the opening day of this new Premier League season. We are set to take on Newcastle United. Fresh from our convincing 3-0 win over Leicester City in the Community Shield final at Wembley, this is the team I've gone with. Kevin Gamero and Virgil van Dijk, the only two new signings that start today, whereas Kingsley Coman is on the bench. Here is Luke Shaw, finds Juan Mata. Oh, that's three for Camero. Looking for his first goal for United in the Premier League. But Tim Krull keeping him out. I always find it difficult to put anything past Krull on FIFA. Here we go again. Camero finding. Oh, go on, Camero. He's not making himself available there. But we can find him again. Oh, what a turn for Camero on his left. Oh, Krull saves again. We've already had a handful of chances here, and they've been good chances as well. Chances that we really should have put into the back of the net. And here is Gamero again. Can he make it count this time? Might have to pull this one back for Herrera. Mata slides the ball across the line. And that's him off the mark for the new season. And that's put us 1-0 up before half time. Pogba. Come on, it's four against three here. Gamero, oh, he's lost the ball there, but Matters through. Matters won it back. Can he get his second? No, he doesn't as he goes into the Stratford end. Oh, that's a good pass through the middle for Gamero. Matter there in support. Gamero opening himself up. Can he get his first goal for United? And Krull denies him. There's no beating Krull today for Kevin Gamero, unfortunately. What a save with his foot as well. Concedes the corner. Here we go, Gamero. He's not having much luck in front of goal. Maybe Coman can today. And again, Krull denies us. Well, it hasn't been as convincing as that win against Leicester at Wembley in the Community Shield. But we've got three points on the board for the first game of this new season. And this 1-0 win over newly promoted Newcastle United. Overall, nothing to complain about. We were creating chances. Decent effort from Villa. They've put in a 7 mil bid for Andreas Pereira. But you know what? He ain't going anywhere. Smalling to Liverpool? <laughs> yeah, right. Going to reject that straight away. On to our second game of this new season then. We're at the Hawthorns to take on the Baggies. West Bromwich Albion. Come on, lads. I remember you from last season. Solomon Rondon causes so many problems in front of goal. Hopefully this guy can cause West Brom problems. So for Manchester United, as we've already seen, Kingsley Coman gets a start today. So does Anthony Martial, so does Michael Carrick, and Kevin Gamero still in search of his first goal for United. And he's Coman, he's just rapid. Absolutely love using Coman at the moment on FIFA 17. Short, back out to Martial. Nice passing here from United. It's through for Damian, who really should be making it 1-0 there against. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. But look at the space. Look at the time he had to slot that into the net. Thank you very much, Alan. Oh, that's nice for Martial. But he's got to be careful of Neon. Rooney on for Gamero. Come on, Gamero! Oh, I really thought that was flying into the top right-hand corner there for Kevin Gamero. Right in front of the United fans as well. That would have been that would have been special. It really would. Could be dangerous. Rooney. Just about got to it. Took his time. Rara through for oh. Rooney hit that. Oh, it's gone in! It's 1-0 United! What a finish from Wayne Rooney! Who is now off the mark for this season? That's his first goal in our second game. Ah, what a goal it is. Herrera looked for Marcus Rashford. Ball came back out. Rooney on the volley. Beating their keeper. Oh, that is just superb. Are they changed the uh, the camera angles as well with this new patch. With the, the highlights, I'm not sure. But that's a sweet goal. Can we make it two here? We've got runners left and right. Popper on the volley. Now that certainly would have finished this game off. There we go, Mata. 
On for Gamiro, still in search of that first goal, but Rashford might be able to make it too, and he does. And he's off the mark now for this new season. That's 2-0 to United right at the end of this game here at the Hawthorns against the Baggers. The United fans going mental, as that'll be six points on the board now for United with two games gone, and it's always good to see Rashford get on the score sheet. Two goals then is enough to see off the challenge of the Baggers here. Goals coming from Wayne Rooney, what a spectacular goal it was. Rashford with one shot, one goal. Talk about clinical. What a really good start it's been for United as champions to this new season in hope of defending that crown. A couple of transfer offers here, Axel Tanzebi and for Matteo Damian. Let's see who they're from then. And this is going to be... An eye opener. So Tottenham are in for Tanzebi. 1.9 mil. It's just over his value, but straight away I'm going to reject. Even though his morale is unhappy, it's be probably because he's not getting first team football. Chelsea are in for Damian. A bid of 60 mil. Again, over his value. They really want him in the side, but again, it's not going to happen. I don't want to get rid of Damian just yet. We didn't have much luck in this competition last season as we got knocked out in the third round, I think. Well, time to start over. There is Rashford who scored in our last game at the Hawthorns against West Brom, hoping he can get on the score sheet again today. Gets the win, gets into the third round. I have changed the team around quite a bit as well. Cameron Borthwick Jackson gets his first start for United this season since returning from his loan at Wolves last season. Fosu Mensa, Lingard, Yanazai, Gillingham, they're going to make it tricky for us here. They're at home and everything, so we've got to be aware of that. And passes like that isn't going to help our case as they could make it 1-0 and they don't. We've been let off very lightly there. The way this game has already gone is kind of worrying, so we need to start turning things around. Can we here with this move? Pereira, gone for goal on the finesse. Too easy in the end. Where's that going? Where's that going? It's on the head of Bay Eight. He's been wanting first team football. More than happy to give it to him. Here is Yanazai. On for you, Pereira. It's yours. Hit first time. Oh my god, what a goal! What an absolute belter from the little man Andres Pereira who I forgot to take the captain's armband off but it doesn't matter especially when he's scoring goals like that. I remember scoring a few spectacular goals like that in my FIFA 16 career with United. You know when I did the whole youth revolution? Andres Pereira, real keen eye for goal. What a finish. Come on, can we make it two here with Marcus Rashford? He needs to get on the score sheet. Get him scoring. Bit of consistency in his performances. We might not be able to. But Pereira looking for his second. Almost had it as well. Donnelly. Gillingham really going all out now. It's right. He's gone for goal. Had Sam Johnston beat. But it just swerves away. Rashford. Oh, that's a ball. He's on here now. Jesse Lingard. If he can just pull away. And he does. Cut inside. In for Rashford. Why is Rashford sliding on the ground? Valencia we're really pushing for the second goal before half time it would be nice from Rashford as well Nelson again with another good save that's in that's in who's on the end of it no one danger still lurking for Gillingham as Manchester United looking for that second it's going to be a penalty it's going to be a penalty and you know what I'm going to give this to Marcus Rashford he scored against West Brom let's get him on the score sheet for this game and what did the ref the referee gave us a penalty for that oh my god you can feel Gillingham's pain Wagstaff hardly had any contact there with Rashford come on then let's make it two then perfect opportunity Rashford puts it wide he was good against West Brom when he came off the bench but not today can't believe we've missed that penalty. Here is Wagstaff who breathed a sigh of relief after Rashford put it wide. You know, Gillingham, they're still in this. Oh my God, look at this. The pressure. The pressure is real right. Oh my God. They're coming again, Gillingham. They're going to get an equaliser. They're going to take this into extra time. Oh, Schneidlin, nutmeg there. What a save. Johnston, he saved our ass there. Dickinson. It's just all... Oh, Rashford's won it back. But he's not round his mat. Oh, come on, get to that. Very frustrating this game. We might be able to get a sweaty here. Kingsley Coman. Yes! 
2-0. That's his first goal for Manchester United since signing on the dotted line from Juventus. All of his teammates coming over to celebrate Pogba in there as well. Fantastic. I'm glad to uh, get him off the mark. I mean, it wasn't the most spectacular of goals for his first one for United, but it'll do. On we march to the third round of the EFL Cup. Andreas Pereira's goal in the first half. Certainly the highlight of this game for me. It was spectacular hit first time. Such power. But Kingsley Coman getting his first goal for United as well. Just a simple tap in in the end. 2-0 to Manchester United. And as I say, we are through to the next round. Find out who we're drawn against in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.